Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I will show you how you can set up Visual Studio Code development environment to start programming using the C and C++ programming languages. All you need to do is to follow the steps in this video and your development machine will be set. Also, please subscribe to the Code First channel if you haven't done that already. By doing that, you will always stay updated with new videos and you will be helping this channel to grow in a meaningful way. Step 1 is to download and install Visual Studio Code if you haven't done that already. Select the version which matches for your operating system and then download it and then install it. Step number 2 is to download and install the MinGW C and C++ compiler. I have Windows 10 running in my computer and this is why I have installed the version which matches with my OS which is for Windows 64 bit. You can download the latest version from the SourceForge URL. After you have downloaded the installer for this compiler, make sure that you will install the compiler in a root drive such as a C drive. This will make sure that the path variables are easy to set up. Also make sure that there are no spaces in the folder path. Next step is to open up Windows settings. Now inside the Windows settings, we need to edit the system variables to add a new path pointing to the installation folder of the MinGW compiler. For that first, we need to edit the system variables. And to do that, just search for edit the system variables in this search bar. And now click on the first result option. Now click on the system variables button, a new dialog will open up and under the user variables for username, you need to search for the path variable. Now click on edit. After this dialog has been opened, we need to add a new variable which is going to be the path to the bin folder of the MinGW compiler installation. You can copy the folder path of the bin folder by going to the Windows Explorer and then select the path in the address bar, copy it and then simply paste it by clicking on the new button over here i have already added the path so it looks like this when it has been added click on ok and then close everything up now it's time to create a new project folder and then we need to open up visual studio code i have created a new folder with the name hello world and i have opened up visual studio code which is pointing to this folder you can open up this folder in visual studio code by going to the file menu and then click on open folder you will need to navigate to the folder and then select the folder and then click on this select folder button. After we have opened the folder in Visual Studio Code, we will need to install the extension for the C and C++ IntelliSense. You can do that by searching for the extension in this search extension text box. Just search for C and then C++ and you will be given with the results. Install the first one because this is by Microsoft. You can read the overview and description about what you will get when you will install this extension. But for now, I am going to skip this step because that's all that we need to do for setting up the environment. Next, we need to go to the Explorer tab and now I will create a new file with the name hello world.com cpp for c++ now i'm just going to paste some sample code to test if the compiler is going to build this file or not next we need to set up this project folder so that we will be able to build and debug the c++ code we need to create the tasks.json file to be able to build the program and we need to set up the launch.json to be able to debug the program to create the tasks.json go to the terminal menu and then click on configure default build task now select the last one which is g++.exe. Clicking on it will create a new tasks.json file. So right now I am using the git bash terminal. So this path format is not going to work and I will have to replace these two backward slashes with a single forward slash. You don't really need to do that when you are using a PowerShell terminal. Now to be able to build this file, all we need to do is to open up the file and then type the keyboard shortcut control shift and B. Doing that will open up the terminal and then the terminal will run the command which are listed in the tasks.json file. Now to check if the hello world.exe has been created or not, we can check the explorer and you can see here is our hello world.exe file. Now let's see if we can run this compiled executable file. For that I am going to navigate to this folder using the command prompt and then I will run this file. So there it is, there is the message which we have written in the program hello world. So our code is building and running in the form of an executable file. Now it's time to set up the debugging of the C++ code. For that we need to go to the debug menu and then click on the add configuration. Select this one which is C++ and then GDB LLDB. Click on that and then another drop down list will open up. Select the first item which is G++.exe. 
clicking on that will create a new file which is going to be the launch.json file now i need to make the same changes in this file too because i'm using a git bash terminal you might not need to do that because you are using the powershell terminal but if you are using the bash terminal then you will need to provide these paths in the correct format like this over here and that should be pretty much it now in order to debug this program first i need to place a breakpoint so let's say i will place a breakpoint over here now i need to go to the debug menu and then i will need to select this item or menu option and start debugging alternatively we can also press the f5 keyboard key and then the debugging will start so you can see that the code execution has stopped at this breakpoint and this is how we can debug our c and c code you can do a lot of different things like you can place watches or you can quick watch any variable but be sure that you will be provided with all of the debugging options that vs code has to provide and this is how you can set up your visual studio code development environment for programming with c and c languages please do let me know what you think about it if you have any questions or if you have any trouble setting this up then you can ask your questions in the comments area and i will try to respond as soon as i can thank you so much for watching this video and if you think you like this video then please place a like on it also please subscribe to the code first channel i'm nitej and i will see you in the next video till then have a great time